So I would like to now um, uh, sort of hopefully keep keep good good timing. So um, Ricardo Meneghini is has uh, joined us. He is um, Ricardo and I. We have one uh, common uh, thing in in common, which is we both have a competitive background in judo. Uh, this is what I noticed in his bio, and then when I read it. I basically, it was mind boggling. So check out his bio, uh, his bio is, is on, online uh, under uh, curator. Um, Ricardo is our curator for smart dancing and some of you might have already seen his video inviting us to dance towards smart festival. And uh, I would now like to hand over to Ricardo. So please bear with me because I'm a Zoom novice. So, um, so good morning, everyone. Ah, ah well done. Ah, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom is magic. It does it automatically. <laughs> good morning, Ricardo. Good morning. I just would like to start with um, something similar to what you, you experienced with the video I posted at the beginning of the week. So I invite you to uh, stand up or if you feel more comfortable to sit down in your chair. And we're gonna go through a little impro connecting to our body, how our body relates with the space and with anything, thoughts, ideas, images that I'm gonna give it to you just to wake up the senses. And then maybe we're gonna have a little chat and then maybe at the end, we're gonna finish with a little dance. Sounds good. So, I invite you to, to stand in your room and just, let's just take um, a couple of uh, breaths just to uh, arrive in your body. And uh, so I invite you to breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> breathe in again. Deeply breathe out and feel how your body is kind of pouring down into your feet or into the surface that is in contact with the floor. And uh, while we're breathing, I'd like you to imagine to be a big ear, okay? It's about listening, about being this, uh, my whole body is a big ear. So if you would like to try to close your eyes, and imagine to listen to your, with your whole body. You're still breathing. Every time you're breathing out, you feel your, your body weight uh, melting into the contact in, with the floor. So in, in this instance, my feet, in my feet, my weight is pouring down. And when, every time I'm breathing in, I'm expanding and I'm listening to the space. Ah, and I'd like you to, to start thinking of listening to whatever is in front of you with your whole body. Keep breathing and listening to what's happening inside your body. And place the opposite hand on the head. And we have one hand and one foot free. And we're going to do the same identical thing that we did before rooting with one foot and with one hand. And the, the free leg and arm can be used as, a, as, the, as we are like uh, balancing on a rope. And we can use this idea of releasing, breathing out and inhaling, extending. Oh, so I'm extending and releasing. Oh, and I'm using my legs and my arm to balance. And back with the two feet and in the two hands. And let's slide again with the hands in front of the chest. Maybe this time we can take it on the lower back. And we can, we can give it, even give it a little rub to the lower back. Why not? Let's wake, it, wake up our kidneys, our energy. Okay. How are you? Hey, Cardo. <laughs> right. Let me give you, I have some messages. Uh, 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 Melissa, our um, curator of literature, uh, said uh, that she, she didn't have time to do the yoga this morning, and this is just perfect. <laughs> what, I, what I can say is 
we were planning a seven week run up to the festival. And of course, something happens as always in life and we had to reboot, reset the festival and we only had three weeks. So things were kind of hectic. So this actually helped me really to release some of the anxiety and some of the, the pressure. However, what I would say is my body is deteriorating. So watching you doing all these wonderful moves, I, 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 all I feel is pain, right? Um, so my first question is, how do you deal with pain when you're dancing? How do you deal with pain without dancing? Um, well, it's interesting. As you say, you, the body deteriorates. It's inevitable. And I'm turning 42 this year. And of course, I, I don't know. I, we all have limitations. I, and maybe my limitations are growing. So my knee, I know I cannot flex it and twist it anymore as I used to. But So you just work with your limitations. There is still so much that your body can do. And also maybe sometimes we forget I, I, to take care of our body. What do you know that you need to stretch a little bit more? I know like, uh, for instance, little taking care of your body, little things like I bought this, um, um, how do you say, clay mm -hmm. to be able to, it's anti-inflammatory stuff. And I always knew that's very good for your, for your tendons. And so, you know, just little things, take care, take, take care to massage, to, to, to put clay on it, to, to, to do your, that stretching that you know that is gonna uh, be good for your body or strengthen your core to be able to support your, your body. So mm -hmm. sometimes we, we don't just, we just to, we have to just give ourselves extra time to prepare yeah. or afterwards to take care of. Okay, that sounds and and encouraging. Now, I, I, Ricardo, uh, I I have a, a question for you. Uh, it's related with the, with the time we are living now. Do you think that the people are getting more interested in uh, in uh, taking care of their own body and health? Mm. How do you how do you see things right now? They are more worried with the with the external um, external products rather than. Uh, prepare themselves for better health care? I don't know. I think people, they, I mean, the, with, this, with the first lockdown last year was an opportunity to slow down and to really see that actually is, to have time for themselves, it's good and they could do things and take that time for themselves. But I think maybe at this moment, after a year into this, like I see for myself, it's it becomes harder to to give that yourself that time, even if you have a lot of time, because you need to go. I don't know. You need to be able to move also in space and meet people. I think this does for me. It's very important. But I don't know about people taking care of their bodies. You know, there are so many. Uh, I, I cannot answer for... for well, uh, Ricardo, so, so this leads us to something which I'm, I've been sort of uh, thinking since, since you showed up uh, in my life, is how do you deal with, with lockdown? I mean, leading up to the half an hour to 10 o'clock, I'm, I'm not sure whether I, I managed to, to get it right, but I showed the, the dancing teaser, which you were going to take on stage with your ah. dancing team, uh, to Freiburg, Freiburg in Switzerland, and I think you were going to go internationally. Now you're grounded. How do dancers deal with the fact that, that you're grounded now? How do you keep the spirit up? How do you keep your exercising? Well, I, so, you I, know, I, like the cold. For me, cold. Yeah, for me it's, uh, it's part of my routine. You know, for me, moving and taking care of with my body and connecting, it's part of my routine. I also meditate a lot, uh, uh, I chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, I'm a Buddhist. So there's, um, I, I try to structure my, my, my day in a way where there are important moments for my mind, my body, and then time to be active or not, <laughs> or yeah, ready to, to be present. 
Okay, so uh, if there are no further questions, again, uh, Ricardo will be staying with our, us throughout the conference. Um, so if you do have any questions, we can always follow up. And uh, so the dancing stage is all yours, Ricardo. And again, if uh, just for the audience, if you want to see Ricardo on stage in full screen mode, which I only figured out yesterday, there is like an icon, uh, top right corner on the desktop, and you just change from view to speaker. Well, this is how it works in my setup. But there is an option on mobile device where you can basically go from gallery view, uh, which looks like Muppet Show, uh, to full stage view. OK, the floor is over to you, Ricardo. And if you feel inspired to ask any other question, just pop it in the in the in the chat room and I will check it out later and I thank you. Grazie mille Ricardo. There you go. Ricardo, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for sharing yourself so beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> yes, and just remind us you're in Milan at the moment because I know you're yeah, like, you know, you're a world citizen. In fact, uh, Coco, our mutual friend, he pointed me to um, San Francisco. And so I, I know you spend a lot of time in San Francisco and then, but eventually we found you in the time zone. And he said, oh, wow, Ralph, actually, Ricardo is in, in Italy. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, because we were worried about time zone. Um, good. Great. Um, so, Ricardo, uh, thank you very much. And um, it's, you. it's not, and you know, we need to uh, request an update to Zoom where we can all, you know, clap and do the, I think that there is maybe something. Um, <laughs> I think there's, there's a button like that. this. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, you need a bravo, bravi. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, okay, we are clapping, excellent. Uh, where, where, oh, wow. where is the feature? Yeah, there's a where button the reactions. Uh, uh, reactions, uh, okay. reactions, yes. I like hearts. Yeah. Send, me, send me hearts. I need hearts. <laughs> hearts, ah, okay, hearts. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'll give you some hearts. There you go. Ah, I give you also, look, in the spirit of the festival, I also give you a tada. <laughs> 